I created a viral anime short video in minutes using 100% free AI tools. No fancy software, no editing skills, and absolutely no budget. This isn't clickbait, and I'm not some tech genius either. But here's the twist. What I discovered flips everything you thought about content creation on its head. While most people chase expensive tools or complicated workflows, I did the exact opposite. And the results? A scroll-stopping reel that exploded with views. In this video, I'm pulling back the curtain. You'll see exactly how I turned a simple idea into an anime-style masterpiece using only free AI apps. And how you can do it too starting today with your creativity and imaginations. Stick around till the end, because I'll be dropping a bonus trick that can multiply your reach without spending a dime. If you're serious about going viral with zero overhead, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's dive in. All right, so the very first thing I do before anything else is create the prompts I'll need to generate the artwork for this anime-style video. When it comes to coming up with vivid and creative ideas, ChatGPT is absolutely my go-to tool. It helps me brainstorm exactly the kind of images I want to bring to life. For this particular video, I knew I wanted something visually stunning. I'm creating a mobile-ready video in anime art style, filled with bold characters and breathtaking scenery. I asked ChatGPT to help me come up with prompts that would feature iconic themes like Asian warriors, traditional samurai, and elegant Japanese landscapes. Imagine cherry blossoms floating through the air, glowing skies at dusk, and intricately detailed backgrounds. I also wanted everything to be rendered in bright, vibrant colors that instantly capture attention. The goal was to generate highly detailed prompts that I could use in other art generators to create truly cinematic images. So I asked for 10 visual ideas, and here's what ChatGPT gave me. Now it's time to turn those prompts into artwork. For that, I'm using Google Whisk, one of the best text-to-image tools available right now. It's completely free gives you unlimited generations, and the quality is seriously impressive. So here's what I do. I'll start with the first prompt. I copy the prompt, head over to Google Whisk, and paste it into the prompt box. Next, I adjust the aspect ratio settings to portrait mode. Since I'm designing this content for mobile, Portrait format works best for vertical videos like reels and shorts. Once the settings are good to go, I click Generate, and within moments, Whisk gives me a set of beautifully detailed image options. I can click to enlarge and inspect each one. When I find the version I like the most, I hit the Download button and save it. Then I repeat the process for the next idea. I clear the old prompt, paste in the new one, and keep the settings the same. That way, the images will all share a consistent art style. To maintain this visual continuity, I also make sure to lock in the settings so that the generator sticks closely to the overall look and feel I started with. I hit Generate again, preview the results, and download the one that fits my theme best. This is the process I follow for each image. Once all your visuals are ready, you'll be fully set to move on to the next stage of creating your anime reel. All right, now I'm inside Google's AI Studio. If you've never used this tool before, just do a quick search for Google AI Studio and follow the link to access it. Check out the suggested video at the top of your screen to learn how to use this tool effectively. Once you're in, the interface is pretty straightforward. You'll see an option that says, Generate Media. So go ahead and click on that. Since our goal here is to create video content, 
we're going to choose the VEO option. That's short for Video Output. You'll be given the choice to generate one or two videos at a time, but I recommend keeping it set to one, just to ensure smooth performance. Next, choose your video ratio. For this project, I'm selecting the 9 by 16 aspect ratio, which is perfect for vertical video formats like YouTube Shorts, TikToks, or Instagram Reels. The maximum video length at the time of this recording is 8 seconds, so that's what I'm going with. Now, it's time to grab one of the images I created earlier with Google Whisk. You can also generate videos using just a text prompt if you prefer, but for this example, I'm working with a visual. So I upload the image, then move on to the action prompt section. This is where you tell the AI what kind of motion or animation you want applied to the image. Once your prompt is set, click the Run button to generate the video. Sometimes you might get an error message. Don't worry, just click away from the error pop-up and try again. In most cases, a quick retry solves it. Right now, you can create about 5 or 6 videos per day inside AI Studio, so there are some daily limits to keep in mind. You can beat this by using multiple Gmails to log in. That said, the videos are high quality, clean, and watermark free, which is a huge win. Once your video is generated, make sure to download it immediately. Google doesn't store these videos for long, so if you leave and come back later, you might lose access to your files. After repeating this process for all your images and turning each one into a short video, you're ready to move forward to the next step, adding music. You can get copyright free music from pixabay.com, but I do not recommend that. They might come back to claim the sound if your videos goes viral and I do not want that for you. And for that, I'm heading over to Suno AI. This is one of my favorite platforms for generating AI music. First, I sign into my account. I'm using a free plan, but I suggest you get a paid plan, which is important because it gives you full commercial usage rights for the songs you generate. You can still use the free plan. Suno AI is not that strict. Once I'm logged in, I click on the Create button. On the next screen, I'm going to choose Instrumental, since I'm not using lyrics for this video. If you had lyrics ready, you could paste them into the prompt box, but for now, we're keeping it strictly instrumental. Now I enter a simple text prompt that describes the kind of vibe I want for the background music. Something cinematic, emotional, or inspired by anime would work well here. I drop that into the box, name the music, and hit the Create button. Suno will produce two music tracks based on my input. Once they're ready, I take a moment to preview both songs. I listen to just a snippet of each to get a feel for the tone and energy. In this case, I like both tracks, but one of them has a mood that fits my video perfectly. So I decided to go with that one. If you are not satisfied with the sound, you can tweak your prompts and regenerate. Suno Pro plans give better music than the free plan. I click on the three dots next to the track select Download, and then choose my preferred format, either MP3 or WAV depending on the quality I need. This track is going to serve as the background music for my anime video. With the visuals and the audio ready to go, it's finally time to bring everything together and start building the final reel. 
Now it's time to bring everything together and build the final anime reel. For this part, I'm using CapCut, which is one of the easiest and fastest video editors available right now. It has a ton of powerful free features, and you can do almost everything without needing a premium account. Once you open CapCut, start a new project. From there, go to your media and import the short video clips you generated earlier in Google's AI Studio. I'm starting with the clips, so I drag each one into the timeline, placing them one after the other. Select Vertical Format, since we're creating a mobile-ready reel. Now that the clips are arranged, I add a simple transition between each one to make the flow smoother. CapCut has plenty of free transitions to choose from, and applying them is just a matter of clicking and dragging. Right now, the total video length is just over 30 seconds. If you want to make the video longer, there's a quick trick I use all the time. It is either you slow down the clips by decreasing its speed, or you add more clips to the timeline. Once that's done, it's time to add music. I drag in the soundtrack I created earlier with Suno, the instrumental track with that ninja vibe, and place it right at the beginning of the timeline so it syncs from the start. CapCut gives you full control over the audio. You can easily adjust the volume, fade it in or out, and even trim the music if needed. I usually increase the volume just a bit to give it a more cinematic feel. Now I scroll to the end and apply a fade-out effect on the music to give the video a smooth ending. Add the clear filter to make your video pop. With everything looking and sounding the way I want it, I go ahead and export the final video. Just click on the export button, name your video, choose your desired resolution and click export. CapCut will render the project quickly and then you're ready to upload. Let's preview what we created. Now your AI-powered anime reel is complete. You've got original visuals, animated scenes, background music, and everything was created using free and accessible tools. Whether you're posting to TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, or another platform, you now have content that stands out and demands attention. I hope you learned something new from this walkthrough. Now it's your turn. Go create a few of these reels yourself and see what you can come up with. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve and be the first to discover powerful AI tools before they go viral, make sure to subscribe so you never miss an update.